ancient Egypt, a land of pharaohs, pyramids, and powerful gods, still captivates our imagination. At the heart of this rich tapestry lies Nama, a name synonymous with the unification of Egypt. Around 3100 BC, Nama emerged from the sands of time, destined to leave an indelible mark on history. He united two kingdoms, Upper and Lower Egypt, forging a single, powerful nation that would endure for centuries. Before Nama, Egypt was divided. Two distinct kingdoms, each with its own ruler and customs, existed in relative autonomy. Upper Egypt in the south was represented by the White Crown. Lower Egypt in the north was symbolized by the Red Crown. The Nama Palette, a ceremonial artifact discovered in Hierakonpolis, depicts Nama vanquishing his enemies and uniting the two lands. This artifact, a powerful symbol of Nama's victory, provides invaluable insights into the events of this pivotal period. The Nama Palette is more than just a beautiful artifact. It is a historical document etched in stone. Carved from a single piece of siltstone, the palette is adorned with intricate carvings that narrate the story of Nama's triumph. On one side, Nama is depicted wearing the white crown of Upper Egypt, striking down an enemy. On the other side, he is shown wearing the red crown of Lower Egypt, inspecting his defeated foes. The intertwining necks of two mythical creatures, known as Serpopards, represent the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. The enemies slain by Nama symbolize the obstacles he overcame to achieve this unity. The use of hieroglyphs, the stylized depiction of human figures, and the emphasis on symbolism are all characteristic of Egyptian art. The palette stands as a masterpiece of early Egyptian craftsmanship and a window into the artistic sensibilities of the time. Nama's reign marked the beginning of the early dynastic period in Egypt, a time of unprecedented unity and prosperity. With a unified kingdom under his control, Nama established a central government and initiated a period of expansion and development. He established his capital at Memphis, strategically located at the nexus of Upper and Lower Egypt. Trade flourished, new technologies emerged, and art and architecture reached new heights. The unification of Egypt under Nama's rule laid the foundation for the great civilization that would follow. He is credited with establishing the foundations of Egyptian kingship, including the use of royal regalia and the construction of monumental architecture. Evidence suggests that he led military campaigns into Nubia to the south and Canaan to the northeast. These campaigns were strategic maneuvers to secure Egypt's borders and expand its sphere of influence. Adding intrigue to Nama's story is the enigmatic figure of Nithotep, a woman of great significance in early Egyptian history. Her name, meaning Neith is satisfied, suggests a connection to the goddess Neith, a prominent deity in Lower Egypt. Nithotep's tomb, discovered in Abydos, contained numerous artifacts, including a scepter and a stella bearing her name. The exact nature of Nithotep's relationship with Nama is a subject of debate among scholars. Some believe she was Nama's wife, while others suggest she may have been his mother or even a ruler in her own right. Despite the uncertainties surrounding her life, her presence adds a layer of human complexity to our understanding of Nama's reign. She stands as a testament to the power and influence women could wield, even in the earliest days of Egyptian civilization. Nama's reign, though shrouded in the mists of time, left an enduring legacy on Egyptian history and culture. He is remembered as the unifier, the king who brought two lands together under one crown. His name became synonymous with the concept of a unified Egypt, a legacy that resonated throughout Egyptian history. Nama's achievements laid the foundation for the Old Kingdom, a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity in ancient Egypt, the centralized government he established, and the cultural innovations that flourished during his reign, all contributed to the rise of Egyptian civilization. His image, preserved on the Nama palette and other artifacts, has become an iconic representation of ancient Egypt. Nama's legacy serves as a testament to the power of leadership, the allure of unity, and the enduring impact of a single life on the course of history.